welcome back to my channel. I actually found this old footage on my hard drive and was like I need to get this makeup tutorial up because it is something that I tend to go for on a daily basis and yeah it's pretty much the makeup that I wear in a lot of my Instagram pictures. So if you'd like to see how I got this look then let's get to it. So first I'm going in and moisturising my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream just to make sure that my skin is nice and not only moisturised but it also gives a slight bit of glow as well. Then not forgetting to moisturise the lips as well and I used my Carmex Lip Balm here. And then straight onto the face I'm using my MAC Face and Body with this Nanshi Buffed Base Brush R01 and putting that onto my face and buffing it into the skin. I really love this foundation on a day to day basis because it's super duper light and looks pretty much like your skin but better but it gives a really nice glow as well to it. And then as always going on to the concealer and I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and popping that on underneath my eyes in a triangle shape which is something that I do every single day and again doing that on the other eye and then also adding it to the other areas that I generally like to highlight on my face so my nose my chin that my cupid's bow and my forehead and then blending that all the way with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I really like this concealer because it not only highlights but conceals as well. Then not forgetting to set all of this, I'm going in with the Ben Nye Banana Powder and making sure that all of my under eyes are set. And this also helps the concealer not to crease either and slightly has, adds a bit more of the highlight because it is yellow in tone. Then I'm going in and filling in my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade or Pomade, I'm never too sure how to say that. And I'm using the Illamasqua Angled Brush here just to fill them in. And you can probably tell that this is a little bit old footage because my eyebrows are a lot thinner here in comparison to my newer videos. And just so that my eyebrows don't budge, I'm popping this Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara onto my lashes as well. And this is the transparent one. And this just basically helps all of my eyelash hairs kind of stay in place without feeling crispy and basically making me look like I don't have centipede lashes going on. And as you can see now, my eyebrows are completed. And then it's time to move on to the eyes and I keep these fairly simple for the daytime and I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is in the gold shade so it just adds the slightest bit of shimmer onto my eyelids so it just gives them a bit of dimension rather than them looking really flat. And then again doing the same thing to the other eye and because it's a really good primer it doesn't crease either. Then straight onto the eyelashes, I'm going to take my MAC eyelash curlers and I always do this thing where I do one eye before the other. So I'm curling one lash and then taking my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, which if you've watched any of my recent videos, you'll know that I'm totally, totally in love with. And I'm putting this on to my lashes. So I like doing one layer of this first and then going in with the second eye, curling that eye, and then going in with the first layer on that eye. I have done a mascara routine video, so if you would like to see that video, then I will leave a link to it in the info box below, so don't forget to check that out. And recently I've actually been pairing this mascara with the Miss Manga Punky Mascara, just to give it that extra kind of oomph to it because it really amps up the volume but I only do that on days when I feel like going a little bit more glam. I really like to take time on my lashes because I don't know I just feel like I can really kind of play them up and make them look really nice and long and fluttery. Then I'm going in with the Bahaba Marmot Powder by The Balm Cosmetics which is a really nice cool toned brown shade and I'm going and adding this in to the lower lash line of mine just to give my lashes a bit of dimension and I love doing this on the days where I don't really feel like wearing any kind of bottom eyeliner especially dark colours because it just adds a bit more dimension and depth to the whole look. And then I'm just going up and fixing any areas with the same Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to the bits on my eyelids wherever I may have got some mascara on them by mistake. Then I'm going in with that same Bahama Mama powder and then running that along the crease of my eyes just so it gives the eyes a bit more depth and they don't look super super flat. And this is a little trick that I do pretty much any time that I want to wear any kind of eyeshadow is having a good transition colour going on. 
Then taking my favourite perversion eyeliner by Urban Decay, I'm just going and aligning my upper waterline and this helps make my lashes look super, super, super thick without having to do any kind of liquid eyelinering or doing a winged liner. Then taking that same mascara again, I'm just popping that on to my lower lashes because we all know that I love adding mascara onto my lower lashes. And I did kind of, I think I did about two layers of this on, but as you all know, I wear too much mascara for my own good. <laughs> and then taking that same Bahama Mama powder again and using this as a contour because it is really nice and cool toned. I am just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks in kind of swishing movements and just making sure that everything is nice and blended and there are no harsh lines above and below the contour to make it look super natural for daytime wear and I absolutely love this contour powder recently. I seem to always be wearing it every day. I'm just applying that to the perimeters of my face as well just to give it a little bit of more dimension then I also decided to add this around my nose to slightly contour that. Then taking this gorgeous, gorgeous blusher by Tarte, it's called True Love because I have been actually using this a lot recently and just popping that on to my cheeks because it's a really nice everyday pink blusher colour and I think I've kind of overdone it on my cheeks but um, I, love, I love blusher and especially when it's pink. And then I am going and adding a bit of my Celestial Powder by Kevin Aquan and adding that to the high points of my cheeks and blending that upwards as well into my eyebrow highlight. And of course not forgetting the bridge of my nose and my forehead and also the slightest little bit on my cupid's bow and chin area. Then taking this Saw Lip Liner by MAC which I am still loving. <laughs> I'm lining my lips as you can see here and then going in and filling them all in and it's actually such a gorgeous shade to wear as an everyday standalone colour but I did add a little bit of the Illamasqua lipstick in bare on top just to mattify it slightly and I love this colour combination and it is so me because I've been wearing more the brownie pinky colours a lot recently. And those are the lips finished and just before I end the tutorial I did go ahead and powder my face just to set everything and I'm using the Tarte loose powder and it looks like my face is smoking but I promise you it's not, it's just the, the uh, powder and yeah just making sure that it's nice and set so it lasts all day long. And that you guys is my everyday kind of go-to makeup look, something quite simple that you can wear to work or even as a daytime look and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you all soon in my next one. Bye!